Welcome to Naras Technologies. I am Bangaraju and uh, this is part 7 video of multi threading. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to prove you uh, like multi threading will perform uh, faster and efficient when compared with a single threaded model. Let us try to understand how multi threaded uh, is going to improvise the performance of the application. Uh, let us just test executing an application in a single threaded model and a multi threaded model and check out the difference in the performance between the two. So, to show you this, let me add you a new class. Let us add a new class here. Uh, we'll name this class as thread performance dot cs. Let me import system dot threading. And in this, I just wanted to methods public void increment counter and just declaring a long variable count is equals to 0 and then I will just write a for loop long L is equals to 0 and next L or otherwise I long I is equals to 0 and I less than or equal to uh, 1. So, this is 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh, 10 lakhs, 1 crore and just uh, just incrementing the variable uh, by this and I plus plus. And inside of it, just what I want to do is count plus plus incrementing the count variable that is it. And uh, once the incrementation is completed console dot right line the value of the count. So, our method is yeah this is a method what I am just using here. And this is going to increment us the value uh, for a crore, one crore times, and one more method count to again the same logic and increment count to and printing the count value. Just trying to increment the values, that is it. And now we will try to execute this code in a single threaded model as well as a multi threaded model and see the difference in the performance static void main and here I wanted to call this method first in a single threaded model. So, okay, let us define this as a static so that we can directly call the method increment count 1 and increment count 2. So, both these two are going to increment the count value now. Okay, well, now how much time is it going to take to complete this particular task? Let us try to calculate. How to calculate? Uh, there is a class called as stopwatch. In the system dot diagnosis, uh, we have a class called as stopwatch. So, let us just go for importing the namespace system dot diagnostics. And under this, there is a class here called as stopwatch class. Stopwatch s1 is equals to new stopwatch s1 dot start i am starting the stopwatch here and after starting the stopwatch let the two methods execute and here we will call s s1 dot stop so with this the stopwatch is going to stop and now once the work is completed let me just take for printing you s1 dot elapsed milliseconds. This will get you, if you notice what this is going to give you is gets the total elapsed time measured by the current instance in milliseconds. 
So, it is going to measure the time taken in milliseconds and that is going to be printed for us here. And finally, console dot read line. So, if we run the program, this tells us how much time a single threaded model is going to take to complete the task. Later, we will execute the same by using the multi threading and check out. Yeah, it has just taken some 472 milliseconds to complete the appropriate task. And here we used count plus plus, it has just been incrementing the value more than 1 crore times and 1 crore 1 is a value what we just got here. Okay. So, this is 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and then we got 1 lakh, 10 lakhs and it is going to be 1 crore. So, it has just taken us uh, some time period to complete the task. So, how much time? If at all I just increment again, we will get a different value 462 milliseconds and suppose I am just going to make it as 10 crores to just uh, consume more time. So, now we should take more time to complete the task. Yeah, It has taken 4,097 uh, milliseconds to complete the appropriate task. Now, let us check the same thing by using a multi-threaded model. So, what to do? If you want to check by using a multi-threaded model, what to do? Now, you are required to create two threads thread t1 is equals to new thread of and thread t2 is equals to new thread of increment count to and again we are using the same thing but now in the place of this calling the methods we will call as t1 dot start and t2 dot start t1 dot start and t2 dot start ok and finally t1 dot join and t2 dot join. So, meanwhile it is going to print you the time taken by the multi threaded program to complete the task. So, you can just notice it it has taken just 3 milliseconds to finish the task. The same task when we executed by using a single threaded model, it has taken 4097 milliseconds, but it has right now taken only 3 seconds to finish the task. So, that is the difference what we just have. Let us just do both at the same time, single thread as well as multi thread also. One more stopwatch I will create, stopwatch S2 is equals to new stopwatch. Yeah, yes, one dot start and yes, one dot stop. So, what I am doing right now is calling it in a single threaded model increment count one and increment count two. Yes, yes, one is going to um, check that thing when we are executing the methods in the single threaded model the time taken here and S2 is going to check the time taken when we are executing the multi threaded model. And finally, here I will just print you time taken to complete the work in single threaded model S1 dot elapsed in milliseconds and time taken to complete the work in multi threaded model. In a multi threaded model, how much time it has taken? Let us just try to understand. This is S2 dot elapsed milliseconds. So, both the two things it is going to print right now and you can just, just check it out. Both, both the times we are calling single threaded model, multi threaded model. In a single threaded model, it has consumed 3000 378 milliseconds to do the work and the same work when we just execute a multi threaded model, it has taken only 90 milliseconds to complete the task because in a multi threaded, the performance of the applications is going to be improvised because they will utilize the time for the maximum extent because they are utilizing the uh, maximum your resources in the CPU time. So, performance in multi threading is very much high when compared with a single threaded model. You just try to still increment this value. If you go with 100 crores, we will find more difference in the time. Yeah, it is just uh, taking very less time to execute, did not come to even take in a milliseconds of time, so directly printed 0. 
So, let us go with the old value you can just say 2008 and here it is 31. We will not get the same output every time because the process speed varies uh, for one execution to other execution. So, we will not get the same result every time, but we can just notice the difference in the performance in the in both. So, this proves as multi threading applications will perform far better when the single threaded model. There is a reason why we are just developing multi threaded applications. So, generally uh, whenever we are developing the GUI applications to make the the UI thread to be free without just going to waste the time in the background work will be done by multi threaded models and uh, UI thread will be just the active thread that is the main thread will always be interacting with the end user and the background threads will be behind the screen performing all the actions to us. So, that is why we just use multi threading in our applications ok. So, this is the proof for us to, to, <coughs> to just tell multi threading applications will perform better when compiled with a single threaded model. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Naresh IT.